Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I am Brittany N. Smith. Good afternoon. It is 12 noon, which is perfect. Um, I am coming on here with some lunchtime nuggets for you and for anyone that you know um, that, uh oh, my nose is itchy. <laughs> anyone that you know that might need a push or might need a boost in the right direction, um, I am the CEO and founder of Girl on the Right. Be the girl on the right, and I'm your greatness development coach helping you discover your purpose, discover your passion, and discover your right life right now. Hey, D. Hey, girl. <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to pop on here and encourage you guys really quickly. Um, I won't take too much of your time because a lot of you are on lunch, and you got to get that those real nuggets in your system, all right? So I just wanted to talk really, really quickly with you guys today. Um, I'm going to share a little bit. From my book be the girl on the right and I want to talk about hey I want to talk about do you believe it but do you believe it a lot of us have dreams we have goals we have ideas hey Nita we have um, desires we have things that we want to do with our life um, and we've been talking about them We've been talking about them since 1982. We've been talking about how we're going to do this and going to do that. But what is the reason why it hasn't gotten done yet? And I suggest, not I suggest, I propose to you today that a part of why we haven't accomplished the things that we've been talking about accomplishing is because we don't really believe it. It's because we don't really believe that we can achieve what we see in our dreams. That was a lot of rhyming. Yes, it was. All right. So I want to I want to really challenge you today and ask you, do you really believe that the things that you see in your dreams are possible? Do you really believe that the things that you that you see in your heart are really going to happen? Right? Do you believe that you're going to be that business owner? Do you believe that you're going to be that wife, be that mother? Do you believe that you're going to be that professor at a college? Do you believe that you're going to be that that fiery preacher? Do you believe that you're going to be the weight that you desire to be or or have the the um the income that you desire to have or be that author that you desire to be? Do you believe it? Because it's one thing to talk about it cuz a lot of us we are really good talkers, right? We're really good talkers and social media even will allow us to look like we're getting it done. All right. Um, social media will allow us to look like we're getting it done and we'll post things about, oh, yes, I just was daydreaming about my my new salon or, oh, yes, you know, I was which which one of these outfits do you like? Because I want to be in, in, you know, I want to get into fashion and we're putting up all this stuff. But in the background, we ain't doing that bit of nothing. OK, hey, young chef. Um, you know, so we're, we're posting on social media, making it look like we're moving and shaking when in the background, we're not doing anything, which is another, another downside to social media. Social media will make you look and feel like you're doing something when really you're just posting about doing something. So my question to you, my first question to you is, do you really believe that you can do what you see yourself in your mind doing? If you want to be an international singer, do you see yourself, do you believe that you can do it? Do you see yourself on stages where there are hundreds of thousands of people, you know, a sea of people waving their hands and swaying to your music? Do you see yourself signing autographs and, you know, when in, in a lobby full of thousands of people and the, the lines are wrapped around and around and around and people are outside trying to get in? Right? Do you believe that you can be what you desire to be? All right. So that's what that's what we're gonna talk about today. All right. So I'm gonna read a little snippet from a book. Be the girl on the right. Okay. So here we go. When you know something, you just know, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not enough to know that you are awesome and that you're gonna be highly successful. Knowledge positions you, but belief moves you. I'm going to say that again. Knowledge positions you, but belief moves you. Somewhere between knowing and doing, belief has to show up. Hey, Mike. All right. So that's the first thing. If you have great giant goals in your head and in your dreams and in your heart, okay, you have to know that between knowing that you can and actually doing it, belief has to show up. If you don't believe it, you will not do it. All right. I'm going to continue reading. My life changed the moment I learned that nothing happens unless you decide that it will. 
Once you make up your mind about something, there's no stopping you. It was not until I decided, it was not until I decided, all right? Um, I decided to believe God. I decided that what I saw in my head was possible. I knew I was a great talker because it all sounded really good when I would tell my girlfriends what I saw in my dreams, but I was a horrible implementer. Some of us were great talkers, but we're horrible implementers. Stop talking about it and just be about it, all right? Continuing on. <laughs> I was great at pushing and holding others accountable, but horrible at pushing myself. I had to decide to believe. You will not do it if you do not believe it. You will not do it if you do not believe it. And this is a snippet from my book, Be the Girl on the Right. You can purchase that on be the girl on the right .com, All right? But to drive my point home, you won't do it if you don't believe it. All right? So I want you to ask yourself, am I in love with an idea or do I really believe I can do this? Are you in love with an idea are you in love with the idea of a master's degree? Are you in love with the idea of having your own business and not having to work for anybody? Are you in love with the idea of being married? I'm going to leave that right there. Are you in love with the idea of being married, but you, you, have, you have no insight or no, um, no desire to do the work? Because being married is work. Having your own business is work. Getting a master's degree is work or a PhD is work. Okay, Being an actress and being a superstar is work. Okay, all these things that you desire to do in your life, the dreams, the things that you see that are really big and crazy in your mind, they're awesome. They're really great and they're possible, but they're work. So I want you to ask yourself if you are in love more so with the idea of doing something than actually doing it. Because, yeah, all of these things they have, um, there are, are blessings that come with it. And there are, um, you know, awesome experiences. And there's reward that comes with doing these things that you desire to do. But all of it is hard work. So if you can't, if you can't get with doing hard work, hey, Markets, if you can't get with doing hard work, then you're never going to get those dreams that you see in your head. Nothing, nothing worth keeping or nothing worth having in life comes easy. But I want you to know if you believe that you can... You're going to get that thing, but you have to, you have to do the work. All right. So again, I just ask you, do you believe that you can, do you believe that you can be that touring musician? Do you believe that you can be that song, the next big songwriter for, you know, whoever, whatever artist you like to follow, right? All of these things, your dreams require work. Your goals require work. If you're not a worker, you're going to be sitting at home on Facebook scrolling, watching everybody else accomplish stuff while you're just at home as a professional Facebook scroller. Don't know if anybody got time for that, okay? You have more in you than to be a social media stalker, all right? So I say all that to say I want you to do something today. I want you to do something. You can't do it all, but you can do some. Thing. If you're supposed to go back to school, look up some schools today, okay, and, and take a step in the right direction. If you're supposed to be an author, write a line today. If you're supposed to be, you know, the next the next big engineer, you know, work on a song today. If you're supposed to be the next big scribe on, on Facebook Live or Periscope, scribe some videos today. Need <laughs> um, You know, I want you guys to really um, prove to yourself that you believe in yourself by doing something. All right. Because like I said, knowledge positions you, but belief is what's going to make you do it. If you don't believe it, you're not going to move. OK, if you don't believe it, you're not going to move. If you don't believe it, you're not going to take that step. If you don't believe it, you're not going to work through it, which is another reason why I say if you're just in love with the idea of something, you're not going to commit to that thing. And that's a part of why a lot of us have started projects, but we haven't finished them. A lot of us have unfinished projects because we're not committed to the work and we're not committed to the process. Ask yourself and be real with yourself. Are you committed to the process? Because success requires process. And if you have achieved success without work or without process, I promise you it won't last long. Hey, cousin, I promise you it won't last long. If you have obtained success with no process and you didn't have to work for it, it will not last long because you have to work to keep it. You have to work to stay there, okay? 
So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I thank you all for tuning in. I'm Brittany N. Smith of Girl on the Right. Be the girl on the right, and I'm your greatness development coach, helping you discover your purpose, discover your passion, and discover your right life right now. I don't know when the next time I'm going to be on, but I'll be trying to pop on throughout the month of November. We are in the last month. Hey, we're in the last month. I'm going to be a mom in less than 30 days, 30 days or less, which is really crazy. Um, so I'm going to be doing live videos up until little Sophia is here. And then I'll, uh, you know, try to regroup and get my life together. <laughs> and then I'll be back sometime after that. Um, so keep me in your prayers. Um, like I said, this, this pregnancy journey is teaching me a lot. So I'm going to be sharing with you. I know I'm kind of late with it, but I'm going to be sharing with you some of the nuggets that I'm learning from being pregnant, okay? Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Turn on your notifications for these videos so that you can know when I'm on live. Please share this video. Share it, share it, share it um, with everybody that you know so that we can get these views up. Like the page. Um, like the page. Girl on the right. Hey, Rhonda. Girl on the Right on Facebook. You can check us out on the web, be the girl on the right .com. You can purchase the book on be the girl on the right .com. Um, It's really, really awesome. I'm not just saying that because I wrote it, but um, as I go back, I'm reading it again right now myself. Um, and it's just really good stuff in there. So I'm going to be sharing from the book quite a lot over the next couple of weeks um, so that you guys can know what you're missing if you don't have it already. All right, so that is it, ladies and gents. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see y'all another time. Thank you, Nita, for sharing all my information. Thank you. Bye.